Oh wow, what's up Epic Gamers? We're back with the Thrones of Britannia Let's Play, playing as Wessex, and we are using the Shield Wall mod. We are about to be attacked, so we're right where we left off. We're about to be attacked by some Viking scum that are coming from the south, and we are merging our armies here, and they're gonna group up at this city, getting ready to defend it. Now, before we dive into today's episode, this is gonna be tough. But, you know, I promised myself I would do this. I have something very personal I need to tell you guys. About something that has gone way back. All the way back since 2016. Do you guys know the YouTuber Jackie Fish? <sighs> My heart's racing. <laughs> so nervous. <sighs> Me and Jackie Fish are in... A romantic relationship we are boyfriend and boyfriend I I can't believe I just said that Wow uh, look Jackie fish I met him in person in 2016 and that was the moment that was the moment I knew that he was my soulmate and uh, we've been we've been together since um, 2016 was a magical year not only did I meet the love of my life, I also, I also was uploading on a platform that, that cared, that wasn't broken. YouTube was actually a functioning site that actually genuinely cared about its creators at that time. That was great. That's kind of when my channel blew up. Uh, and also, my favorite NFL football team made it to the Super Bowl and kicked some ass. Now I turned it off at the, you know, at the end of the third quarter cuz I was like, oh, you know, we're kicking ass. This is over. We won. It was good to get that first Super Bowl win, you know, under our belt, but uh I I haven't really, yeah, I didn't watch the fourth quarter, but I'm sure it's very similar to the first three quarters. But um but yeah, I mean, we've been together since 2016. Uh he I mean, I personally believe he's the greatest Total War YouTuber in the world. Uh, I mean, why? Well, look at him. He's a cutie. He's an absolute cutie. So, when I see comments like this on his channel, I'm not going to say his name. I'm not even going to show you his name. Because he doesn't deserve any kind of spotlight. But the comment says, Mate, your content is so mediocre. If I was you... I would delete my YouTube channel because it sucks a lot. <laughs> Your content is so bad, and I'm surprised you still play Total War. It's like, it's more like Forsaken shit. I don't know what that last sentence, I don't know what that last sentence means. But when you attack Jackie, that's like attacking me. And when you attack me, there's hell to be paid. There's absolutely hell to be paid. So I will not stand for these comments. I will not stand here and let you attack my soulmate like this. I mean, look at us right here. Look at us. Just two young boys on the beach. At the time I lived in Orlando, we went to the beach and it was so romantic. But yeah, that does not, that's not okay. So anyways, I was on Jackie Fish's stream yesterday. Which everyone should be watching. There's really no excuse. Every every Wednesday, he does a head-to-head -head campaign against Darren Total War. And they're playing the DEI mod for Rome 2. He's really good at it. Just like, he, I mean, he's good at all Total Wars. He's so good. Um, but, you know, I was there donating some money. As everyone should. And I also made a couple bets with them and stuff. I said, hey, you know, if you win this battle, I'll donate 20 bucks. Sure enough, he wins the battle. And my, my bank declined the, the, my card. And I had to call my bank. But eventually I got the money to him, right? Well, I also said the next three people who become YouTube members for Jackie Fish's channel, I would give them sh a shout out in this video. Oops, right here. Sorry. This video right here, okay? This video right here. So, I'm, I'm a man of my word. And by the way, you guys should all be YouTube members to Jackie Fish's channel. There's really no excuse. 
There's really no excuse. At the very least, go watch his head-to-head uh, -head campaign because it is actually really good. Like, all jokes aside, it is really good. Like, first off, he's great at the mod. Second off, it's really competitive and all the battles are played between the two players. Der uh, Republic of Play, also formerly known as Darren Total War, and Jackie Fish. Uh, so it's really, it is really good. But anyways, you should all be members. So this is my, my shout out to the three members who became members when I said to become members. Here's the shout out. So we've got Don Muss. So thank you, Don Muss. Mr. Andres K7. We have Christopher Bell. And those are the three. Now I want to give a, sh a special shout out to General Cody HD. Who was the fourth one? Now I said three, but you know, General Cody, great YouTuber. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll mention him because he did become a member, and uh, you know, he was the fourth. He wasn't the third, but you know, General Cody. Go seriously though, go check out his channel. If you like Civil War stuff, he's got a great channel. So, anyways, glad I got that off my chest. Now we can finally dive into this campaign, and uh, we can defend our lands. Um, yeah. So, you know, if you hate me now, you can unsub. I don't care. Love is love. So, deal with it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is, like I said, move these armies down to these settlements. Meanwhile, they're gonna be recruiting troops and trying to bolster up their numbers so we can deal with these Vikings. Which, again, looking at the direction they're facing, it looks like they're gonna hit this city or this city. Whatever city they hit, we're going to be ready for it. And we have 47 gold. Our vassals are crumbling. Okay. Our vassals are crumbling. And they're not crumbling, all right? But uh, in terms of, like, relationship-wise, um, it's going bad. Unlike me and Jackie Fish's relationship. It's going bad. I don't know why. It doesn't show anything negative. But hopefully it gets better and this is just like a one month, one turn type of thing. So I think we've done everything we could here. We just need to defend our lands. We're going to go ahead and end the turn and see what happens next. And I'm really, I'm really curious to see like who's going to be the first faction to go to war with me. Because it's going to be really scary. Because <laughs> I'm having a tough time. Like first off, I had a tough time. Um... I had a tough time dealing with bandits. Now we got this raiding force, and if a, a random faction declares war on me, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little troubling because I'm having a tough time just build an army. Like I can't even build a full army quickly. Oh, they're changing directions. Okay. Okay, this is weird. They declared war on us. Diplomacy has failed. These two factions are now at war. Okay. Faction destroyed. Stonehenge. Beautiful. Alright. The Maiden Castle. Cool. Very cool stuff. Little uh, landmarks there. Little wonders. So the army has actually shifted over to my vassal. Am I going to let my vassal stand there and die? Absolutely not. We're still going to keep sending the armies down to where they need to go. Alright. So we'll get them going. We have 651 gold, so we do have some building opportunities. Which includes a woodland village or a lodge. So with a lodge, we can get fur production, two population growth, 19 monthly income, 11 food, and an estate. This one will give us more monthly income more furs but less food production and we don't get the estate so we're gonna go with the uh, hunting lodge and i think we can also build hold on let's see what else we can build around here yeah we can improve the grain silo which will cost 10 to upkeep but it will inc improve food storage which is always going to be important so we're going to do that and let's go back to diplomacy and see how my vassals are doing. Still upset. We're neutral. Okay, once again, let's see who's who's doing the worst. Like who, anyone who's in the yellow, yeah, you guys. 
That's no surprise there. Neutral. I might just have to give up on these guys over in, in Wales over there. You know, like I... Gwent and Gil's swig... I don't know. I, look, I just think maybe we should just cut ties. I may be open to persuasion. Speak. We could cancel and give them their independence. That will make us weaker, though. It'll make us look weak. That's for sure. But they're the only ones who are upset. So, you know, I'm gonna focus on this faction to stay happy with us, because they do, they like, they're connected, you know what I mean? Don't make me regret admitting you to my hearth. What? Dude, you are a vassal to me. You do not talk to me that way. Let's give him a gift. Ah, yes. Yeah, don't right. you feel stupid now for being so hostile? Bitch. Alright, so... That's underway. We got skills available. This is a governor, so we'll keep improving the scribe. It's gonna help with our economy, make him a little bit better with managing his finances. Um, we got technology going. Do we have more estates to give out? Let's see. No. Okay, let's uh, end the turn then again and see where these Vikings go. It's a little scary because they can travel quite far in a short amount of time. So, I mean, I know we got a warning message about these Vikings, but hold on. You know what? Before we talk about this, I do want to mention a comment here really quick. Let me, as we wait for the, uh, the end turn, hold on. Uh, speaking of <laughs> Super Bowls, uh, we've got a Patriots fan over here. <laughs> Sucks to lose Super Bowl 51, doesn't it, fool? Anyways... He's got a little meme talk going on. He goes, Paul, reading comments. Doesn't realize that his cities are rioting against him. Gets invaded by small faction. Apollo, I think we should stop here. See you in the next campaign. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, Patriot fan. But just like my Falcons, we don't quit. And I am sorry you lost Super Bowl 51. I really do. But I don't quit. And you're a cheater. You know what you would do uh, being a, a Patriots fan? You'd probably get in and put in some cheat codes, and you, you'd give yourself more money. That, I know, you're mad. You're mad right now because it's true. It's true. Anyways, just want to throw that out there. Uh, but yeah, the, we killed, wait, that faction's destroyed. Here comes the Vikings. They, look at it. They, what is that movement, though? They, like, they look like they were going for the vassals. Now they're headed towards us. All forces in good order. Come at me. Let all foes beware. By the numbers. <sighs> Gotta get the king's army over there as fast as possible. Your Full moon month. I wish it would just tell me what month it was. Like, you know, the Catholic, the Catholic uh, calendar. Like, I wish it would just tell me, like, oh, it's November, so get ready for winter, because you're gonna die. You know, like, I wish, because I don't, I, I need to learn what these months are. Full moon month. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, but let's improve the economy again. Plus two public order. Yeah, let's do that. Let's improve both of these, honestly. Get that economy rolling. That's going to be all our money, though. Um, we can upgrade this general, which is fantastic. Um, once again, we're going to make him a quartermaster because plus 16 percent upkeep cost for all units that doesn't seem good that's a negative right that oh, i didn't know that quartermaster has a negative to it oh well we can afford it look at our economy wait are you sure did it just go up look like it just wait hold on 864 if we improve Oh yeah, it went it went up by like 20. So, whatever. That's fine. It's worth it. It's worth it, I guess. I don't know. But let's go ahead and recruit a couple of units here just to help with this. Um 
Let's get another archer unit. Just a little more skirmish capability in case they land. They might go to this this settlement here. The men are ready to serve. You, hmm, okay, I'll leave. I'll leave this army. I was thinking about moving up this army, getting in as close as possible. But there's no difference. They should just hang out in the city. Hang out in the city and prepare for this Viking invasion. Viking invasion. Let's see uh, how my vassal's doing. Improving. Great. Because we gave you money. But, unfortunately, my relationships with the other vassals are not going so well. I wonder what would happen if I just let these kingdoms be independent. You know? Would they look down upon us if we gave them their freedom? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Total War did that. Where you cancel a treaty, it makes them mad even though it's like them being vassals. Approach then and let us negotiate. Like we're trading, we have military access. Let's just break this off. Like what okay okay, hold on. Before we do that, right, before we do that, let's look at our victory requirements. We have a short conquest victories, hold 80 settlements. Shame, uh, fame victory, or we can go short kingdom victory, which requires us to take. Yeah, we don't even need to worry about the Welsh over there. We can just take this center land. You see this? So let's go for the short kingdom victory and try to take that. Now, my question is what is our relationship with? Mercia. Mercia. Well, then we got a scale. Of, oh, we, we got a couple skills. Again, prove this scribes for the governors. There we go. So, um, yeah, what, um, what are, what are we currently at here? Can we arrange a marriage and then I can claim all your land? <laughs> How sweet would that be? Let's find out. Let's find out. So, oh, nice. A little info about the city. Very cool. Um, let's go back to diplomacy. Let's talk it out with them. Maybe we can arrange a marriage. I do have a daughter. Or a son, actually. Speak truly and full. Uh, declaration of friendship. Improves the relationship between two factions is first ideal step building good relations. This is accepted. Excellent. We're friends, bro. We are friends. Now, become my vassal. No, I'm just kidding. Um, how do I arrange a marriage? Can I even do that in this game? Let's do a defensive... Insulting? Okay. Well, we friends. We, we declared it. Just like I declared... I'm not going to say it again. You guys know. But yeah, we've declared a friendship, and hopefully that will lead to something good in the future. Because I need their lands. And you know what? I'm just curious what's going to happen. I'm going to let these vassal states go. I'm going to give them their independence. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Also, oh. Okay, I can't quite do that. Um... Yeah, let's let's give them their freedom. We are liberators. Well, it's more of just I don't want to deal with these idiots because they're impossible to please. Approach then and let us negotiate. You're not bound to us anymore. You're welcome, dude. Please tell me we're friends now. Whatever. Um, and then Gwent, you can have your freedom as well. Approach then and let us negotiate. Your people are no longer. Yes, we are no longer bound together, but let us parley. If we can be must. friends, if this is how we're we friends. See, that's what I like to hear. We're good friends. Let us parley. If we must, I will accept it. Beautiful. Can we also like, hey, let's do a defensive. Why? Why is that insulting? If I defensive pact, I'll help defend your lands. Whatever. So. There we go. No longer our vassal. You 
boys are free. All right. It did hit our economy a little bit, I guess. But I just didn't want to deal with them anymore. Now the only vassal that is causing issues is this one way over here. And I'm curious. Watch them. Watch this backfire and be like, well, why'd you let them go? You let them go, but you know. They're upset with all their treaties with... What? Okay, whatever. We'll just throw money at them. Just throw money at them. Alright, let's see what the Vikings do here. Here we go. Let's end the turn. End the turn. Alright, Vikings. Here we go. Yeah. Traits gained. Nice. Gain some influence. We await your commands. Eager to fight. Let's go ahead and get this army over here as well. Okay, we should be able to attack this army. Uh what? We will do our utmost. Long boats. Slow for docking. Well, I guess because they're just like blockading the port, that might be it. But the men are ready to. We're gonna hold our ground here. All forces in. Like we're in order. the city, right? Yeah. And then we got reinforcements. Oh my God, that's a scary army. Let's repair the buildings. Improve the salt merchant. That helps our economy and food production, which is going pretty well. And we're doing all right. Low public order. Ah, these guys are upset again. And so is this city. Well, this building will improve public order, but it's going to take five turns. How can we improve public order here? We could increase... Yeah, we can... We can make this a church now increase public order by four so we got a plan we just got to save some money but they shouldn't riot soon so let's end the turn again and see what the vikings do here let's see what they do that was a quick turn that was a really quick turn no battles yet this has been all very strategic very strategic episode of planning our buildings, planning our diplomacy, and planning our defense against the Viking scum. So, we'll see how this plays out. Hmm. Interesting. Another faction destroyed. Now, we can actually improve the port here. If we get this uh, minor port, it actually increases population growth and food and trade. Faction-wide. Ooh. Or we could expand upon this city. Textile production, huh? Six income, food short storage. Enables military forces that garrison here to establish a supply line with plus two basic duration. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get that. Now, the church, I think we have enough for still. Yes. Let's improve that church, make them happy. We await your command. Again, these Vikings here are pissing me off. We will serve well. My army should be close enough to be a reinforcement army, correct? Forward march! There. Just to be safe. So that's going on. We have no money, we spent it all. Let's get some new tech let's see we'll unlock some spear ban mm. minus one turns until replenishment for retinue or maybe we should get more fame minus 10 corruption that's pretty good better trade community get a library arenas Hmm. We can improve the commander's unit. You know, let's... 
Let's just keep improving all aspects of our military at a time. And let's, once again, end the turn. Let's see what the Vikings do here. The ball is in their court. Man, it's, al it's almost been like 30 minutes. And there still hasn't been a battle. This, this mod is hardcore as hell. Like, I don't ever feel comfortable playing this, and I love it. As in, like, I just don't feel like... I'm, like, I can't just be mindless and, like, build whatever. Like, I gotta be very tactical about things, and that's awesome. I love that. I love it. Here we go. Here we go. Do not falter. They are here. The army has landed. And this army is terrifying. But they have no skirmishers. The men have trained for this. Guys, I think we're about to have a we big battle. Do do not falter. Oh yeah, baby. What a way to end this episode. Woo! Woo! It's time to battle. Okay, here we are. And look at this Viking scum army. Look at this. This is actually really intimidating. It, look at the look at the boys with the painted faces, the white and black paint there. That looks terrifying. Just terrifying. Oh my god. Okay, so here's our army. Now the good news is that one thing we have over them is that we have archers. Now their warriors are far superior than mine. I mean, look at my lap. Look, look at. Okay, so look at this guy. Right? <laughs> Look at this guy. Okay? Right? And then... Look at... Look at this guy. Right? You see a difference? You see... You see a difference? That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, my men are farmers. They're not elite warriors. So... We're gonna have to get creative here to win this battle. Uh, so let's actually just line up here. Alright? Have the archers here. And then we'll have the skirmishers right in the middle doing some jabby action. And then the axe and sword infantry on the flanks. And my general behind the jabbies. Now, hopefully they don't move up. We do have a cav unit. We'll just move it to the flank there. Are they moving forward? No, that's excellent. Because we are attacking... We set the pace of the battle. And, ah, beautiful. Reinforcements. So, we need to set up an ambush. Now, one thing we have over the Vikings that they don't have, not only do we have archers, but they're also stupid, okay? And we're going to have to put some, I'm thinking about putting a flanking unit over here. They might see it. I don't know. We, yeah, you know what? Okay. All spearmen, this is going to be the front line. They're going to suffer, right? They are going to suffer against the swordsmen. But they're going to go right here, right? You guys take your time. All swordsmen, axemen, is that, a, is that all of them? We have three? Just three, huh? Well, they're going to be the flanking force waiting in the tree line right here. Okay. And then we're going to take all the archers, group them up. They are going to have to do some kiting. All right, some major, major kiting. Let's also put the cab in the tree line as well. Um, but, yeah, you guys don't run. Again, put the jabbies in the middle. You know what? No, we'll put the jabbies on the ambush force. Because uh, they can throw them behind the enemy. And then I want both generals right here in the center. Okay, I'm not going to rush them into position. I'm going to let them walk. So, I'm just going to cut this out. I'm going to fast forward. Wait until they're in position. Alright, guys. The battle is about to begin. I have my army in formation. Spears are in place. I put the ones that could form shield wall into shield wall. The others, well, they can't form anything because they suck. I've got my ambush troops over here. 
right? They're waiting in the tree line. As soon as the Vikings commit to this main line, they're gonna pour out along with the Javis and my calf, which are all hidden. Now, we're not gonna move up to them except for my archers. archers! Because I wanna be able to hit them and kite them down as much as possible and get them, hold on, let's get everyone here. And get them to fall for the trap. So here we go. Every single Viking we kill is gonna be a huge victory. We need to kill these bastards right here. You see these guys? Kill them. We have to kill these guys. I'm gonna focus these idiots down. They scare me more than any of them. More than any of them. This is gonna be intense, folks. I hope you're sitting down. If you got a weak stomach, you might wanna look away. This might be the fall of the great, and that's why I love, you know, I know some of you guys hate these unit sizes, but I love them because there's something personal about it and intense about it. I don't know what it is. There we go, archers. Good job, you killed one. Hey, one is a big deal. Yeah, I do, I do enjoy the units that are scaling. It just fits the time period. All right, we killed two. And hopefully they're gonna be tired by the time they uh, get to us. Look, they're already active. All right, do another volley. Quickly. Okay, what we're gonna do is a... We're gonna do a, a tiered kind of fallback. There we go, we got him down to 11. Viking idiots. Alright, fall back. Fire. Beautiful. Alright, that one's pretty much dead. Let's focus on the next one. It's called using our advantages against them. Alright, we need to start pulling them into the trap. Pulling it. Pull them into the trap. No mercy! Use our brains. It's something the Vikings don't have. Enemies beware! Hold on, hold on. Glory away! Deploy range attack! Don't hold back! The men are, look at the men, they're cheering. They're cheering. They're like, hell yeah, archers! Hell yeah! Kill him! I'd be terrified at this point. I'd be like, are you, why are we cheering? I'm scared as hell. Run, warriors! Pull back. Get behind the infantry. You did all you could, archers. This is an epic battle. Holy crap. Alright. Get ready. Do they see him? Oh, they see a unit. Go. Go now. Hold this position. Um, archers. Come on, swordsman, go. Alright, general, use your ability. Improve the fighting ability. Come on, hold! Let's do some slow motion. Check out this epic freaking battle. I love this time period. It's so sweet. Just defending against these Viking scum. God, I love it. Alright, but we need the cab to get going. Cab, go this way. Skirmishers move up here. We need help now. Now! Nope, nope. Rally. Don't you give up yet. 
We gotta help the center. The center's breaking, guys. The center's breaking. Hold! Right to victory! Kick your stains! Ride hard! Drive the horses! Run the horses in! Support the center! Javis! There we go, they're wavering. Look at that. The horse. Temporary. Cav unit did a suicide charge. Guys, skirmish mode. Don't engage. I'm gonna peel a unit away from here. No, no. We need more help on the front line. Damn it, this is for our kingdom. Die! Oh shit. Nice. Hold in the center, don't give up. Rally men, your generals are right behind you. We need men in the center. Oh, this balance of power is bullcrap. We're on the verge of defeat any second. Yeah, archers. Focus the units, it's falling back. What a bunch of idiots. Flank, swordsman, flank! Holy crap, this battle's epic! This is so good! Man, you guys are spoiled with this excellent content. Alright, sweep down the line. Rally. Archers fire at the retreating forces. Hold your ground, men. Kill the, the general. Do not let them escape. This mod is awesome. That is like one of the coolest battles I've played in Total War. There's something so simple about it and bar like barbaric, like raw about these battles, you know what I mean? There's this feel so immersive and like I'm there, this is the right time period. The scaling of it feels like that. I mean, I know the battles in terms of actual size and numbers were bigger than this, but in terms of like Total War compared to other Total War games, this feels like it fits the size of this time period. You guys get what I'm saying. There you go. Don't let them escape. We will make sure they never raid us again. Okay, I think the archers literally won this battle. Look at the carnage too left behind. I think the archers won this battle. Because they killed those elite units early on. And if those guys were still in the game, I don't think we would have been able to hold. as many as we can. I think they killed my cav unit. Cav unit was also a very important unit because they flanked around the unit that was actually starting to break through my line. These guys are breaking towards us. But, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna chase those guys down, so. Woo! I'm gonna save this one. Why not? Why not? Save it. Why not? Whew, let's see these results. All right, so we we lost 313 men, but we killed 626. 
They lost 632 and killed 298. Some friendly fire in there a little bit, but that's all right. We did not completely destroy their army, and I'm going to do what any sane king would do. Kill those who were captured. The men have trained for this. We will finish this once and for all. Get out of my lands! Be gone! What the hell? Look at that ox over there. Did you see that? It's got like a million legs. Alright, again. Kill the captives. Leave one to go back home and tell them what happened here. The men are ready to and that battle will ever go go down as one of the greatest battles ever. Woo! Alright. Um something that will anything that will lower uh upkeep costs or something, like plus melee skill for all spear infantry units. Oh that's really good. Let's get that. Forward as one. Let's get them back into the cities. To glory we march. Oof, that was a great battle. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's ba uh, video. That was a, one hell of a way to end it. Um, these battles are going to be so much fun. Uh, call me crazy, but there's something raw and just gritty about these battles. And it, it's nothing fancy, you know? It's just shield walls going at it. That was great. That was absolutely great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. And I'll see you next time on the battlefield.